Hi all, welcome to Econ Edge. So myself, Suresh, today I am going to discuss a topic on dead by loss in taxation. So before going to the lecture, I like to say that if you like the video, please share it and subscribe it. So those who learned microeconomics and market structure, that is monopoly, now, what is meant by dead weight loss? Dead weight loss is nothing but the loss of consumer surplus and producer surplus. So, under monopoly, there is only a single producer. So, when there is lack of competition in the market, there exists loss of welfare to the producer and consumer. So, a combination of both these is known as dead weight loss. In taxation also, same thing is considered. That is, the harm caused to, to economic efficiency and production due to the imposition of tax is called dead weight loss of taxation. So tax is naturally imposed by the government. When a government imposes a tax, what will happen to the consumer surplus? And producer surplus. If there is a reduction in consumer surplus and production producer surplus, we say that that is a dead weight loss to the society. So let us discuss this using a graph. So this is a graph which shows the dead weight loss. I'll explain it. In the x-axis we measure quantity, y-axis we measure price. So, if there is no taxation in the market, so equilibrium price is determined based on the intersection of demand and supply. This is demand curve and this is supply curve. And this is the equilibrium price and quantity. So, it will denote equilibrium quantity by QE and denote equilibrium price by PE. So, this is the equilibrium quantity that is all QE quantities uh, demanded at OPE price. Once government imposes a tax, what will happen? Suppose the tax percentage is one percentage or two percent or ten percentage. So say this is the percentage. Say it is ten percentage. So there will be a shift in supply curve towards left side to the amount by which tax is imposed. So that will be uh, here you can see the supply curve shifted towards left side that is supply plus tax a denoted plus supply plus tax that is nothing but the tax amount that is the percentage. So there is a leftward shift in supply curve. Now a demand curve will remain same and you can see a new equilibrium point is achieved that is E1. So at E1 see the price is very high compared to the previous equilibrium that is where there is no taxation that is now the due to taxation the price increased to OPT that is T denoted tax, that is why I have given PT, OPT. The earlier it was OPE. Now, the quantity, let us examine what is the uh, quantity demand. So, there is a reduction in quantity demand. Earlier it was OQE, that is, now it is OT. Now, what is the price? This is the price charge to consumers that is OT OPT. Now let us examine what the price producer can charge. See another equilibrium that is A that is corresponding to QT that is when we join this line towards uh, the y, y axis we will get the price. So OPS that is the pr price to the supplier. Earlier they can charge OP. Now the 
price which can be charged by the supplier reduced to OPS. See, and what is the uh, price charged against the consumers? That is OPT. So earlier the equilibrium was E. Now see this portion A E E1. This portion. This portion is called debt weight loss due to taxation. See this one B E E1. This portion is called loss of consumer surplus. Earlier the consumer surplus was above P E and E. Now this is the loss of consumer surplus due to taxation that is B E E1. And let us examine what happened to the suppliers. See, earlier below this one, P, P and E, and this portion was the producer surplus. Now, loss of producer surplus is A, E, B, this portion. Together, when we add consumer surplus and producer surplus, uh, that is loss of consumer surplus and producer surplus, we will get A, E, E1 as the debt weight loss to the society due to the imposition of tax. Now, let us examine what is the revenue for the government. Earlier at PE price, there was no revenue for the government. Now, the government revenue is, this is a price for the supplier and this is a price charged to the consumer, that is PT. So, difference between PS and PT, that is the tax price times the quantity, that is QT, that is OQT, that is, that is nothing but PSPT into OQT, that will give the tax revenue. So this portion, P S A E one P T is called the government revenue generated through the imposition of tax. So this is all about debt by loss in taxation. Hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you.